Many years ago, the ITV used to have a section at the end of the news entitled, And Now for Something Completely Different. And that is, if you like, what I want to share with you this morning. Simon Barrington Ward, who was the General Secretary of CMS and latterly the Bishop in Coventry before he retired, and for many years was a great advocate of the use of the Jesus Prayer. The Jesus Prayer is a simple prayer and it's a prayer which can be prayed repetitively or just in a single uh, word stances. The Jesus Prayer came into popularity when the Desert Fathers, who were Christian people in the days of the early church, who were keen to get to know God better. And so they went into the uh, desert and they hid themselves in caves away from other people and they learnt this art of repetitive prayer. And the Jesus Prayer comes from the parable in Luke's Gospel about the tax collector and the Pharisee. The tax collector is the one who we all think is such a rascal and a villain and yet it's the Pharisee who goes away um, in a worse state. The Pharisee of course is very self-righteous and he thinks he's right with God and he looks down on other people. But the tax collector, the one who's swindled many people out of their hard-earned money, that person who was in the riffraff of society, he was the one that stood justified before God in the end with the simple words, Jesus have mercy on me, a sinner. And that is the basis of the Jesus prayer. Lord have mercy on me, have mercy on me, a sinner. And so repetitively those words, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Now in these days of lockdown when we've had time on our hand to think and to ponder various things, prayer hasn't always been easy. And where prayer is difficult, this simple prayer calls upon the name of our Lord. It calls upon him not only for mercy, but it calls upon him to hear our cry. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And this prayer can be prayed in various and different ways. And I shall talk about that in my next homily. But let me close with a prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to find space in these days to hear your voice. May we hear what you are saying and be changed. Help us to see the beauty in your creation in these days. And may we also recognise the love that surrounds us day by day. May we learn to rest in you and be renewed through Christ our Lord. Amen.